What's up guys, this is Omaha Outdoors and uh, today I'm going to be doing another Mystery Tackle Box unboxing and when I'm done with that, I'm going to share a couple updates with you guys because I haven't been making a video in a little bit and I'll tell you why. So first, this is the June Mystery Tackle Box, comes in the same package it does every time. And uh, yeah, so let's get to it. I was pretty surprised about this Mystery Tackle Box, it wasn't as much as the the last one but more expensive stuff so uh, that can that can be a good thing or a bad thing but I think I take it as a good thing and uh, so yeah this is the backstabber lures uh, miss uh, this is the backstabber lures crankbait it's very unique because it has that hook up there there's no front hook there's a there's a hook on the top though and it's a VMC yeah it's just a, it's a VMC hook and those are very good hooks but they're very strong. A lot of a lot of people use those. Pretty sure Ike and LA does. And uh, yeah, like this. But so I bought this box for 15 bucks, and these crankbaits range from 15 to 16 dollars. I mean, there's already paint. Pay, pay, that's already paying your 15 15 bucks. And that's what I like about Mystery Tag Box. They'll do more than what you bargain for. Like what if you paid 15 bucks, they'll give you 25 dollars worth of stuff, and it's just a it's just a great deal. I don't. I don't know why people don't do it, and uh, yeah, so we got the crankbait. That's, that's the probably most expensive stuff, which is more than the box. And uh, yeah, next we got the uh, two four out ultra lock EWG hooks. These are worm hooks, I am pretty sure, but I like to use them for flipping. It says any soft plastic you can use them for, and yeah, they got the uh, long they got the long shank on them. So you can really Texas when you Texas rig it, you can really, really get it like weedless. And uh, hold on, let me get this out of here. Hooks are fucking through. All right, why well, can't get that out? So, oh, yep, there it goes. All right, here it is. Sorry about that. It kind of looks like the uh, G-Lock from Gamagatsu, but I like this a lot better. It seems stronger. It's it's not really thick like the Superline from Gamagatsu, but it's got the longer, uh, I don't know what you call it, a shank or something, I don't know. But uh, yeah, I like that because I can really tuck it in there and make it weedless. So yeah, and those range from uh, 319 a pack. It came in a pack of two. That's not a bad deal at all. Especially since you already got the 15 bucks from the backstabber lures. And uh, yeah, next is the uh, Whip and Baits tube, it looks like. It's, uh, I don't use tubes very often, but I'm definitely going to try this out. It's in the uh, smoke, I've never heard of this company. And it looks like these tubes are in the smoke flake, smoke silver flake color. And uh, yeah, they look they look pretty good. I don't, I don't use tubes a lot, but that's what I like about Mystery Tackle Box. like. I didn't really use white spinner baits, and last month they got me uh, white spinner baits, and I've just been catching the crap out of the bass on them. Like, they just love them, and I d I wouldn't have never known that if I didn't sign up for this. So yeah, these these tubes are pretty unique. I like them. They got the ribbed body, and uh, yeah, and they came in a pack of three of those. And the next is the big bite bait sugar cane worm. Oh, these are called the. Uh, these are four-inch disc disc tubes, is what they're called. So not much of that. But uh, next is the uh, five-inch sugar cane worm. Uh, I don't know what it looks like a. I don't know candy color, but I'll definitely be rigging this on a shaky head or weightless, twitching on top of the water because it's got that paddle and it looks like that would make some action. I love fishing shaky head. My favorite from Big Bite is the Jeff Creek squirrel tail. And that just, this looks almost identical to it, except it's got the paddle instead of the little squirrel tail. And yeah, so Big Bob Bates comes in a pack of three of those too. And next, probably my favorite one. I love using beavers. And uh, this is just things, this is just like anything I could ask for from them. It's the uh, rodent. I think it's the rodent. Hold on, let me check. Yeah, it's the baby rodent. And for the sweet beavers, I didn't really check up on it. They probably do, but I got I got a, on my tackle warehouse order that you guys can go look back at. I got a ton of sweet beavers and kinky beavers, 
and uh, yeah, I just love fishing those. But but they're it's a huge presentation, and sometimes that's always not the case. You you need to throw out you need to throw a little one, and this one's perfect. It's like a junior, and it's I just love Texas rig them, punching them through mats or whatever, or you can even I just flip docks with them usually. So it's perfect. It's small, compact, and everything. It kind of represents a cry like these little tentacle deals. And uh, yeah, black and blue is also my favorite color. And it's got that awesome coffee scent that I absolutely love. Okay, so yeah, that's the Mystery Tackle Box. So yeah, I'll show you the paper, the backstabber, and then the rodent, and then the uh, sugar cane, and then the tube, and then the hook, and then yeah. So. Not as much as the last one, but more expensive stuff. So now I'll be telling you guys my update. I have not been va I have been making a ton of videos lately. I have about 50 saved in my computer, and they're all catching bass. But uh, the sucky thing is that my computer is lagging up. I don't know if it's I don't know what's what's wrong with it. If the computer can't take that much, because I use the GoPro Cineform, and it's not it's breaking down my videos, but it's lagging so. I don't know, I mean, I got videos, I, I just got back from Table Rock, one of the best bass fishing lakes in the world, and, and uh, yeah, we caught some big fish there, I got pretty nice four pound smallmouth or so on a hat cam, and uh, I went fishing I went fishing with Fishing with Flair, Andrew Flair, off YouTube, go check him out, he's a really cool dude, he'll learn a lot of stuff, he, he does the fish hound, I don't know if he's gonna, I don't know if he's doing that anymore or not, but uh, I know he just signed up for Mr. Tackle Box, so go check out his channel he's he's a cool dude and uh yeah so i'll try to get those videos updated uploaded to you guys as soon as possible because i'm not off i got some on the stanford's a uh, couple on the new tech but i lost the new tech so i gotta make another order with those but uh yeah so there's your tackle box and your update uh thanks